Hi, this is Ruthie. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I'm going to be doing a quick wrap up of the year. Maybe not so quick because I always say quick and it winds up not being quick. Um, but uh, I just want to thank you all for all of your support. This um, has been an awesome year. I've been loving sharing my plans with you guys and I love your response. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so today I just want to kind of wrap up the year and just tell you guys thank you. And I do have a top 10 um, wish list of plants that I would like to get in the 2019 year. I cannot talk today, so I'm probably going to be doing a whole lot of retakes. Uh, and I do have a top 5 list of people that I would love for you guys to check out. I dare you. I... Um, dare you to go check their channel out and I, I think it's um that concept what is that concept um i'm gonna pause because i don't remember i dare you to pay it forward i dare you to pick out five people that have you know newbies starting out um in the plant community that you would like to support that you would like us to go check out and just keep it going i think this is a really good way for other people to check out um channels that they haven't checked out if you're way bigger than us you know, maybe you're going to be uh, referring me, people to come check me out. And I'm definitely going to re uh, refer people that I think are, that I think rock and that I think you guys should check out because they're newbies starting out and I believe they, be, they deserve encouragement to show their passion for um, plants and whatever it is that they really enjoy. So um, let me get to that list really quick. Uh, I think it's a really nice thing. <laughs> Look at my scribbles. This is my top 10 plant list. Um, but I put it in my phone so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you guys but I'm thinking about you um, give me a second so the five people that I would really like for you to guys check out because they're new um, I want to really encourage them I really want to support them is um, one of them first one I want you to check out is Christina Solis she was so amazing and sent me some Chris not Christmas birthday plants that I've shown before some amazing aeonium and Every time I look at them, I smile. So, Christina Solis, you rock. I want you guys to check her out. I'm going to put her uh, link to her page above. Another person that I would really like you to check out is um, It's Just Judy. She just started out recently. She has an amazing yard. Um, she She's a fellow New Yorker, um, transplanted to Florida as well. So, um, she has a lot to say. She has a lot of knowledge for, for plants. Um, and you're going to love her. Um, the next person I would like you to check out is somebody new that I, I recently found and I believe he's in Hawaii and it's Plants Are My Therapy. He has an amazing collection of plants, awesome different pots um, and he's very knowledgeable as well about his plants so check him out. Uh, the next person I'd like you to check out is super newbie, super new at um, recording and I'm so happy that I was able to inspire her to do it because she's amazing and that's Natty's Succulent Craft. Um, I'm gonna put her link up above. She's super cool, she's sweet, she has an amazing collection and please check her out. I'm sorry, it's Natty's Succulent Crazy. Crazy with a K. <laughs> um, so Natty's Succulent Crazy, sorry about that. Um, and some of you might say, why on earth would I send anyone away from my channel to another channel? You know what, I figure if you guys enjoy my channel, you'll come back. There's no harm in me sharing the love and and, and and encouraging other people. I think it's a beautiful thing when you're able to do that and feel secure in yourself that, you know, if people love you, they'll come back. And I'm hoping that's the case. Also, you know, I want to really thank, and I forgot to do this, Garden Rudiments. She did a shout out for me the other day, and I really appreciate that. You're bigger than me and you're showing some love to the little people and I love you for that um, so just share it around man there's nothing wrong with it if they love you they'll come back and then last but not least not least at all Brie is um, Brie Lawrence she's a supporter she has amazing plants she's very knowledgeable about her plants and I think you're gonna love her so if I did not choose you please do not take it as um, 
a diss or um, that I didn't love your channel. It's just that these are people that are pretty fairly new, like have n not a big following, definitely under 200 if not, and way less than that. Um, so in the single digits. So please don't take it as um, a disrespect or that I didn't love your channel. This is just me trying to pay it forward to people that I think with a little push can go so far. So, you know, and I encourage you, I encourage you, all of you, to do the same. Pick a top five, pick a top ten. Just give them some love. They deserve it. All right? And so I'm going to go to my plant wish list. My plant wish list. <laughs> I have it here as well. Sorry, I got nervous because I didn't, I didn't want to upset anyone that I didn't choose them. Um, there's several, like many channels that I love, and I am always, you know, posting on their channels because I really love and support them. But I think that these people are so brand new that you know they could really use our love. Um, so I am going to go, if I can ever turn this phone back on, to my top ten wish list plants for 2019. And I was able to get many um, things off my wish list this year, which was awesome. Um, so I think number one on my wish list is something that I saw on Sarascapade's um, site, and it's called an Echeveria Red Baron Bold. This plant is amazing. It has these um, these spots on it that I believe are like a fungus on the plant, but it makes it even more beautiful. And I'm gonna I'm gonna post pics of, of the plants up above, um, but that's probably number one on my my wish list because it's so beautiful and it it can be become so huge. So that's number one probably. And then I have several aeoniums that are on my wish list. One is the sunburst. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And that's another one that can become really big and proliferate. Um, the aeonium Mardi Gras. I love it. The Aeonium Black Rose, and these are all beautiful. They 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 are dormant in the summer, I believe, and and um, bloom and, and are happy in the winter. So um, that's uh, what that's at five right now. Okay, I have Echeveria Raindrops. That's another beautiful plant. I had one, I and I lost it. Or I didn't lose it. I'm still trying to nurse it back. I don't know exactly what happened to it. So that that's another one that I love. This is a, and then the next one I have a bunch of of uh, Echeveria on my wish list, of course. Uh, Echeveria La Leal. It sounds like it's Hawaiian, so it's probably I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it's L A U I, and it's beautiful pink pastel colored, beautiful. Okay, and then I have the Agavoides Romeo beautiful red Echeveria. I love it. Okay, and then I have the Echeveria Heart's Delight. And it's almost kind of like heart-shaped, the, the leaves. Super beautiful. I would love that as well. And then Grino Grinovias. These are like rose, like tight little rose um, shaped plants. That, any of them. I, I don't know the names of them. Just any Grinovia. Grino Grinovia would I'd be happy with. Okay, and then a Buddhist temple. That is a Krasava, and it is amazing. Just the structure of it is just super duper awesome, and I would love one of those. And then just randomly, anything variegated. Oh, I forgot on my wish list. I, I can't take one of these out, but um, I would love a variegated or non-variegated um, Monstera Deliciosa. That's a beautiful plant. It's a house plant, really, but it's beautiful and I would love one. Um, so I don't know which one I'd take out of there, so maybe I have a top 11. Okay, so then anything variegated, anything crested, I'd take. I'd love this year, and anything that's like Korean and rare, because they have some amazing, beautiful plants. So that's my list. And um, share yours. I mean, comment down below. Um, what's your your top 10, top 2, top 5 like plants that you would love to get this year? I'd love to know like, you know, because maybe it's something that I don't know about yet and I'll Google and say, hey, that's on my list too. Um, but um, also comment down below any, you know, anything really. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, I, I try as much as I can to respond to you guys. The interaction with you guys is amazing. I did a 
premiere the other day and I probably did not um, promote it as I should have. Um, but I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing maybe a live um, stream. You think that's something you guys want me to do or anything? Like, would you guys like for me to to feature? You know, do you like me to do um, hauls, um, projects? Is there a particular project you'd like me to try? Hey, I'm adventurous enough to, you know, try uh, something that I haven't done before. I may fail, but I will try. Um, but let me know. Bring it to me. Let me know what you want to what you want to see. Um, hauls, um, unboxings. I would love this year to be able to um, to if anyone lives in my area. I know that I, I mentioned to it's just Judy that maybe we can go to Maria's Garden together. So that's that's something I definitely need to do. I went to um, Isaac's Farms. And that is an amazing place. I mean, oh my God, I still have all my plants here that I haven't potted up yet. But um, I encourage you to go check out that video. You're going to love it. I mean, I was just like, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I was like nervous trying to figure out what to pick out. Um, but it's an amazing place. But um, this year has been awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys, you know you rock, man. Um, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post. But you know, it's been amazing and I can't wait to see what um, what's uh, next. And I just want to wish you all a happy new year. May it be filled with love, family, um, peace, and um, success. I wish you all the, all the wishes of your heart's desires just come true this year. And, you know, you got to put work into it for things to come true. They, they, they just don't happen on their own, you know, unless you're super duper lucky. And if you are, hey, throw some of that luck on this, uh, on this end. Alright, thank you guys for everything. Have a happy new year and God bless. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.